Hello YouTube, welcome to this week's Monday Mail and Magazines. We have a little bit of mail, of course we have our magazine, and we'll throw in a bit of shop talk. Starting there, we have currently 481 subscribers. I've mentioned previously of doing a 500 sub giveaway. Being 19 away, I expect to hit that mark sometime this week. If and when that does happen, I will be putting out in an official giveaway video where you can see what is going on and how to enter that. Uh, also this week is the deadline for the box.group build, so expect to see a final video on that from me, as well as potentially the final for the cancer awareness group build, which is more than a month late now, but I've corrected some of the paint issues and I think I'm good to go there. And moving on, I got my shop card and of course stickers. If you would like one or have something to send me, you can reach me here at sodakmodelcars at gmail.com. Also, you could friend me on Facebook under the name Sodak and Model Cars. Also, I have a little bit on the Instagram under Sodak underscore Model Cars. That is for there. Moving on to a couple of small orders I made. First from scaleproshop.com. I picked up a dead center drill starter. This is like a precision pilot drill bit. A lot of guys raving about them, so I want to get one in my arsenal. Also from there, we have Morgan Automotive Details pre-wired distributor. These look pretty nice, so I want to check one out. And look for this on the USAC group build. Also, we have some ProTech Photo Etch. These are just some valve cover, like wing nut bolts. These match what I had on my 64 Impala, so I want to get those for whenever I do that replica build. And my second order here comes from louvret.com. They also have a YouTube for their instructions and some of their products. But what they are is some louvered panel sheets. These are super thin, and you're supposed to be able to put them right over your previous panels. So I want to give one a try. There's several of them I like, but their shipping being the same for one or ten the way it seems. So I give this one a shot. And this will be on an upcoming project that you will see soon. So look for it there. Now we can move on to the magazine. All right, This is Route and Custom, August of 65. There's no cover, unfortunately. It got lost, apparently, along with June and July's that I missed. But moving on. Little reader's rights. Badger airbrush ad. 65 World Model Car Racing Championships. Prizes valued at over $100,000. That's pretty amazing in 65. Little Auto Mart ad showing off the auto world catalogs a little shaving cream comic a little bit of a little triumph ad a little tool a little cartoon over Hector adds, that's a little lacquer spray. Some more cartoons. Check out both of those. That's not what I meant when I said to fire it up. He's got a wicked flame job going on. Coming next month, the rebirth of the a la carte. Cox's new Sidewinder, clutch rebuilding, modeling tips. Do have that one, so I'm interested in that rebirth of the a la carte. But uh, for this week's, we've got this sweet little hot rod, nice little dual carb setup, and a small block Chevy running slicks in those sweet spindle mounts up front. Keg tank in the back, basic little ripper. 
And here we've got Cindy's Mustang. Looks like we got a lot of custom little treatments, a grill, those taillights. I think we've seen those done in one of the earlier magazines. Nice set of wheels on it. Unique uh, covered headlight lens. Showing you how to do that your own. You got kind of a plunger style door latch. Different. A little how to on that. All systems go with spectators go into orbit when Doug Robinson and Horsepower Engineering's AA Fueler get the green light. Nice front engine dragster there. Of course, running a, a blown Hemi. Pretty common in the day. Hot rod radiators. Looks like we're doing some uh, repair and testing on radiators. Know how it's done. And here we got a nice little clean little 32 full fender. We're on a Chevy V8. Got some nice smooth chrome wheels. There's a dual carb small block. Clean interior, just a classic simple hot rod. Chevy El Camino gets an olds. That's a little unusual. Sweet little 60 El Camino though. How to engine swap is 327 for an older Olds mill. Seems a little unusual. Especially when the the W motors, the, the original big blocks would have been out by then. But there's how they are doing it. Pastel Puff. Recognition comes in many styles, but Bob Olson's 34 panel is selfish when it comes to pulling the crowds. I do like the 34s. Seems like you're either a 32 fan or a 34 fan. I'm definitely more 34. I like that kind of that chisel plow front end, front grill on them. Check out that unique... Kind of diamond plated looking interior almost. That is definitely unique. What color do you think that is? Pastel puff. Looks like a pale yellow or something, maybe. What do you think? I don't know the answer. It is pink and blue. Totally not what I've seen from those black and white. And that's why color photos are so awesome. Totally unique. Pretty wild. Milk Run. I think a bunch of people have seen that. There's a sweet little hot rod. There is a milk trike. I believe. I don't think it's actually a tea bucket, is it? I never noticed that it was a a suicide coil spring front end. Definitely unique. Kind of a nice undressed look at the chassis. Pretty basic. Totally vertical steering wheel. Cool interior. Just a cool ride. Certainly gets an attention. Not for squares. Nice little short track midget. Good look at those. I don't think I've seen one of those kits in quite some time. Freddy's Tedious T. Fred York performed some wild surgery on a 25 Touring because roadsters are like in man. 
Well, let's check it out then. Pleated interior, wood dash. Looks like he's got a matching helmet. A Ford Flatty with some Offenhauser heads. Dual carbs. Nice custom trunk area. Very unique triple stripe tires. I don't think I've ever seen a triple triple white wall. Pretty cool. Even got some pleating in the trunk area. Attention to detail. Off the sketch pad by Tom Daniel. Some nice drawings from Tom. Always very unique. Very cool. I like that back end there. That's interesting. As they all are. Turtles are getting faster. White Merrill's Tough Turtle Deck C FMR. Must be like factory modified roadster is moving proof. Running a Chrysler Hemi. With meticulous pride, Angelo Mazzi came up with real work of art. Angelo's masterpiece. That is a good looking 34 Ford. That is just right to me. A little bit of custom, but pretty stock. Nice wheel choice. Some custom touches there with the roll pan. Small block Chevy, dual carb. Little diamond tucked interior. Some racing seats. That is a really cool looking truck. Advanced model tips. How to fabricate working steering, friction shocks, and hood straps on a 120th scale Fiat. That is a big old unit. Continuing on, showing some gears. A few of the models in the Fiat factory collection. Cool. Looking sharp in the red. Fiat Model Museum. A few more. And there they are. Modeling away. Kind of cool to see some factory models. Full. Full shot of a one-fifth scale. Doing the, the scale down on the taillights. Little biplane. Pretty cool collection. K and B Ferrari and Porsche. Slot racers. Modeler's viewpoint. Jim Clark's Lotus Ford rates high on the builder's list. It is kind of a, a neat little model. Real thing. All sorts of different. Sticker placements, little cab view, little under sheet metal look, fuel filter the way it look. All sorts of good little shots for someone building one. Unique Maserati. Performance options are the rage. This goes for little ones too. Open up a Maserati slot car. Lots of slot car stuff in these rod and customs. Let's 
Soldering is a cinch. Here's the explanation of soldering that you've been waiting for. That's a pretty big, large-scale front-engine dragster. Different little tips. Must be soldering brass, I assume. Real nice article showing you how to get it all in correctly and nicely. Blitz and Beetle. Here's a wagon for the faster Volks. Dan Gurney's modified VW pushed teammate Foyt Stocker to Nassau win. Dan was later disqualified, but cheating. Proved successful. A couple of big names, Dan Gurney and AJ Floyd running some Beatles. But looks like we are talking more slot racers. Templates. Build a Hemi Cuda. It may take three or even four kits, but the results will be more than worth it. Those are pretty cool. Cool cutaway drawing. First Hemi under glass, the early one is cool. Wish they had these out in kit form, but I guess you have to do it your way. Very well explained article, the how and what to do, filling in that dreaded hole in your engine from the metal axle. Looks like a pretty cool article. I would like to have one of those early Barracudas. You can have some templates for your tin work. Shot under the Quote unquote under the hood, but under the glass. Good stance. How's this for real mid engine positioning? Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And we're getting to the end, so we are at the QA. As usual, I will buzz through these. Cartoon. Of course, there's our royal ad. Nice tack. Mm, scratch Builders QA. I enjoy reading the q and I hope you guys do too.
And last but not least, we got our cartoon. Either way, it works. All right. Thanks for this. Staying tuned in this episode. Again, 500 sub giveaway coming up at the end of the week, hopefully.